Welcome to this video on native half-precision C code for embedded targets. My name is Greg Kalpenrath, and I'm the Product Marketing Manager for Fixed Point Designer. Are you looking to reduce the memory needed for your code? Using the floating point half data type is a great way to maintain precision and accuracy while reducing memory requirements. The example I will go through is the one you see here and can be found in the link below. I recommend that you read through it. It shows how to create a new hardware with half enabled via language implementation, how to install a compiler that supports half, in this example we're going to use the GNU ARM toolchain for Windows, and how to set up the hardware and compiler properly so that it shows up on the Simulink pane in CodeGen toolchain dropdowns. Half data type is also native for Renaissance targets and can be set up in a similar fashion. If we open up a simple model that uses the half data type, we see that the data type is labeled for each signal. We can go into configuration parameters. We already have our compiler set up, so we look at the hardware implementation settings and the device vendor is ARM compatible. Then the device type is Cortex-A half. Next, we look at the code generation settings. The language is set to C, and the tool chain I will use in this example is the GNU tools for Windows ARM processors. We select OK. Then we build the code. We can see from the report that the code generation was successful. If we look at the generated files, half type.h, we see the custom header arm underscore fp16 and the type definition of the underscore float16. Then we look at the code gen.c and there is a compute via single with cast to half data type. The code is using half storage. One more example that is worth checking out, I will add a link below. This is a lookup table converted to half precision and the reduced size that results from the conversion. The single precision lookup table found in SL demo underscore fuelsys is analyzed to see if half precision has enough range for this application. Then the data type is converted to half. There's one last link that I will add that shows the impact of the half data type in embedded design. I encourage you to watch the video. If you want to reduce your code's memory footprint, try out the half data type.